Hey, what's up everyone? This is a departure from the videos I usually do on RC cars. I'm going to compare two different boilers. This is my old boiler here. I've had it for a, it's been in the house since the house was built in 1991. Um, so we're in 2024 now. It's pretty old and uh, it's leaking and it's, it's uh, time for a new one. So I'm going to be replacing it. This is a slant fin boiler, an oil boiler with a Beckett burner. The new boiler that I'll be getting will be an Energy Kinetics EK1 boiler with a Carlin EZ1 burner. It's supposed to be a very quiet boiler um, and it's also a cold start so it can only it's only going to supposedly click on when I need it, such as running hot water or needing the heat. Whereas this one here uh, is constantly running to maintain the temperature of the boiler. Uh, it's very noisy, I find. Because this is my RC workshop, I'm constantly over here working on these guys. And um, it's it would be nice to have something quiet. So for my takeaways, the Energy Kinetics new boiler is significantly quieter. Uh, you can see by the numbers here that the original boiler was 61.2 and the EK is 49 in the first reading. That's a difference of 12, a little over 12 decibels. For the second reading, it's even more significant when you get up closer to it. It's uh, a difference of 17.4 decibels that the energy kinetic is quieter. I can say that when you're in person, it sounds like that as well. It's, it's very quiet, uh, significant difference. And uh, um, on the website, they suggest that it is 47 decibels. So uh, my readings are a little bit higher than that, but not by much. Another claim that they make on their website is that the Energy Kinetics System 2000 is quieter than a microwave oven. You can see here on this infographic that this is on their website. Um, and so I figured might as well put that to the test as well.